leaving. You're not leaving. So your, your house is not for sale. Oh, no. And they come constantly with the little handwritten notes and knocking on the, on the window, pay, offering to pay all cash. I'm not selling. You know, they don't know nothing about bed -Stuy, You know what I'm saying? They don't know. And a lot of them, a lot of the young people now who see the whole image of hip hop cool and they can actually come and, and live where this culture develop, evolve, and their parents can afford to like uh, buy this brownstone. confused when I look around my neighborhood. It's like my community and my memories are for sale. The gentrification thing, when it comes to mind, it comes to mind that it's being a bad thing because we should, we should, you know, we should be, as a people, should live together no matter what color. But the, it's the way how America puts it. They, chase us out of the community. This is the cheapest rent I've ever paid, including Chicago. I mean, it helps, like I'm living with my girlfriend, so mm -hmm. that obviously saves, but uh, I pay 350 a month, uh, plus f like $50 for utilities, so. That's this is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm the envy of every, everyone I know. I have really mixed feelings about what I see going on in my neighborhood. And I don't necessarily think that gentrification is the answer to make it all better. What happens with gentrification is the municipal services improve, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the people are better, but the services provided the people are better. There was a time certain people would never move into Brooklyn, would never move into Bed-Stuy, would never move in to certain communities because of the people who lived there, but after the whole economical crisis, you find people find themselves not having a choice. You see like young, white, affluent, not even affluent, just sort of hipsterish people getting off the train. And I, it's not like this, this block has changed entirely. I'm not sure where they all actually <laughs> are. I love Bed-Stuy, I love the community. We walk around and like you can say hi to your neighbor and they know who you are and you go to the hair salon around the corner and your grocery store is up the block and they sell the kind of food I want. I've, my family, we've moved from one area in Bedside to another area that's practically in Bushwick because our landlord kept on raising the rent. Where I live now, it's kind of uncomfortable, you know? kind of far and removed from all the trains and just distant and lonely. So what do you think about this neighborhood? Um, I like it a lot. Um, there's always, you know, things going on. Um, it's fun, I feel safe. Uh, I don't have a lot of friends around. Have you lived here long? Uh, about five years. Oh wow, a long time. My grandparents bought that house with my grandfather's hard-earned money as a mail carrier for the United States Postal Service in 1941. The only way I'm leaving that house is if I have to for some reason that I can't even imagine. That house will be in the Modesti name forever if I have anything to say about it. Um, hi. Hi. Uh, so uh, what do you think about this neighborhood? Oh, uh, I love that style. You do? Yeah. I, would you call it home? Yes and no. I live in uh, Prospect Heights now, mm -hmm. but I lived here about five years ago. Do you think there's a solution to the problem of gentrification where both sides 
compromise and work together. If gentrification is you pushing somebody out of their, trying to push somebody out of their community so you can live there, I don't find there's a compromise, but there is a solution, just you stay in your community. I really just want to have a blended community where everyone can live and everyone can be together and peaceful. It's like we're segregating ourselves, and it kind of sucks. People can live together. People can live together, but people have to decide to live together of their own will, not because they are schemed into it or forced into it. I would like to see our neighborhood continue to grow and improve, but I don't want it to grow and improve at the cost of its culture, at the cost of its history and legacy. In Bed-Stuy, it's definitely a far richer history that's already existing at the place. Like, like I guess uh, they say it's sort of like the Brooklyn Harlem, or you know, like there, there's you know, a rich like generations of history, and people like own the, own the homes and stuff. Um, so I, I don't know. I I feel like gentrification is going to go differently here, only because it's not like you know people these neighbors have just so much invested in their actual home. You know, they, they've lived here for a couple of generations and, you know, they're like grandparents and stuff. You know, it, that's, that's, that's the thing about it. There's a legacy there. So you live in this neighborhood now? I do, I live over in Halsey Street. Okay. Uh, do you think it's becoming more family friendly? I see a, you know, a lot of different changes um, just when it comes to the, uh, the number of families that are in the, the neighborhood. I come out during the day when you know, all the kids are out. If they're, if they're preschool, you know, they're out here with their moms or, or possibly with their babysitters and things like that. But then there is a certain point in the afternoon where a certain crowd may show up. And, and then it's just, I don't think it's really a, I'd say after five. You know, it's, it's just, when it becomes more of a social gathering for people without kids, but that's the way it's been for decades, yeah. right? You're not going to change that in a, in, you know, two or three years. Gentrification is just another word for imperial. It's just like an urban city-tized word for, you know, imperialism, uh, you know, I'm saying colonization. It's just another word for it but it just happens in the homeland. I could see someone here being afraid that this would turn into Park Slope, which would be like cause for like alarm, but I don't know, maybe I'm naive. I just feel like it's not gonna like happen, but maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm naive. If only because I just feel like this community has so much like history in it, it just seems like more weird and wrong if like this, all this gets torn down, but I just don't, I don't know, I just don't think it's gonna happen. This thing about like Park Slope feels to me like zombie mother crazy white people thing happening over there. That area that's Fort Greene slash Clinton Hill was all Fort Greene when I was growing up. Just like Bed Stuy was just Bed Stuy, but now you cross Stuyvesant Avenue and it's Stuyvesant Heights. Give me a break. So once again, I'd like to say, man, I'd like to see the people of bed -Stuy, the original people who's been here forever long, bend together, not to shun or keep anybody out, but to ensure their own survival.